around on Paul George. That's a fun matchup as well. Zubats to Leonard. Shot clock at three. First shot is good. Boy, for a guy who, who just missed, what is their decision making when they do so? Paul George launches a three and rattles that in. His shooting since he came back. Patrick Beverly and Marcus Smart. Now that's that's a couple of pit bulls going at it. Paul George. That's why you love been clamoring to team up with Kawhi since 2017 when he would ask for a trade from Indiana. The first team on his list was the Spurs. Now they're actually teammates and have been bonding off the court this offseason with some fishing trips. In and play on the ball, off the ball. He's playing with Kemba right now, but gets him a bucket with a good decision there. He's guarding Lou Williams. And Lou Williams right away scores. This guy is just a committee. Tice has been such an excellent defensive player in terms of their switching as Lou Williams. It's been the most productive years of his career, and he almost missed it. Rodney McGruder's in the game with Williams. Montrez Harrell. Celtics shooting under 40%, but they still lead. And even after that three, still lead by one, but Leonard knocks down. He's a guy who had to go overseas, who played the three and the four for Pittsburgh. Like, tough-minded defensive program, but I never saw him as an NBA player. Paul George knocks it down. Brad Wanamaker wasn't trying to handle Zubox rebounds the miss. But they really rely on him. Paul George. <laughs> little stroll down the lane. Game number four after a significant layoff. Don't stand up, Ennis Cantor, because that crossover is going to go right by you. And look at the... the George kicks it out beautifully. Nobody anywhere near Leonard. Plays by Kawhi. Leonard fakes. And a pull-up line drive is good. So back-to-back -back play is heel. Was it? I, that was close. George Kick pulled first. back. Three-pointer, Paul George. Patrick Beverly drives, kicks back out George. George with a hand in his face. That's a three. Paul George. Small rebounding guard. He's got eight rebounds tonight. George drives right at Tice, gets knocked down. A lot of contact. They let him play on. Lou Williams gets away from two defenders and winds up with a wide up. Two guys at Gardner, but he still winds up. Grinding and grinding. I saw him a ton in college at Pittsburgh. Just loved everything about him. But I, I have to be honest, as I said in the first half, I did not, I'm not sure I saw an NBA player when I saw him at Pittsburgh. Man. He's got 14 points here in the third. Give and go, Williams and Harold. Boy, they have had an amazing connection. Six times and take six threes, you're going to up your scoring average over 20. And it's proved completely accurate. Oh, oh shot. Leonard. He was 0 for 7 from 3 before hitting that one as Lou Williams finds a nice little comfortable area to shoot the ball. Yeah. Lou Williams, the catch and shoot. That's good. Great corner for Williams. And the lead is cut to 5. Walker was mad at himself, Doris. He telegraphed that pass. Beverly in the corner. Kawhi Leonard! Oh! Won't go. Walker had a good look. Lou Williams for three. Bang! Clippers lead. They've been down all game. Kawhi wisely pushes it because he's run to the deep corner. Close out by Tice is there, but sweet Lou is too good. Not play Leonard or George past the minutes. I don't know. I don't think so. I think right now that the number one thing is George puts up another three and this time nails it. And the Clippers go up. It looked like he was going to get a great look. It sure did. But remember, for his size, Kawhi Leonard's wingspan is about four and a half inches bigger than it should be. And he gets every bit of that shot by and, Kemba. And does not commit the foul.